This may just be the best method that I have ever used to find fish and no, it's not using electronics. So what is it? It's absolutely burning micro square bills. I did a video on this about a year ago and I really wanted to kind of add some things to it after I've been doing this for the past 12 months and after I've seen my most recent underwater footage. Now when I say burning, I mean absolutely cranking that thing as fast as you can. The reel that I'm using here is a 7.1 to 1, which is almost 30 inches of line recovery per turn. And as you can see in the footage here, I am absolutely going to town on this thing. And the real key is that start-stop, that erratic retrieve, and you may be thinking, man, that is just cooking. Well, when you look at it from under the water, from the perspective of the bass, this lure is not going nearly as fast as we think it is from out of the water. What makes this so powerful is it is 100% that fleeing bait fish presentation and it triggers those fish to react, it gets them to bite. And remember, we're trying to find fish with this particular retrieve. Well, these first retrieves here are two or three full rotations of the reel handle. So we're talking almost 60 or almost 90 inches of territory or distance that is covered. Well, then I started doing a little bit more playing around and these retrieves that I'm showing you right here, this is one full rotation. And the more I watched this, the more I was like, wow, that even looks more realistic than the other retrieves where you're doing two or three rotations. So you're moving that lure approximately 30 inches, or if you're using a little bit higher gear ratio, almost three feet in one rotation and pause it for just a split second. And based on the fleeing bait fish that I've seen, whether those are shad or minnows, this really matches what they do. They'll just dart, pause for just a quick second and then dart again. And it is that change of direction, that start stop, that just bass cannot stand it. And here is that same retrieve from the front from, uh, let's say the bass was sitting there and this was coming right at them. So it's one rotation, one rotation, one rotation, and you can just see how realistic it looks. And once again, what's happening here under the water, this is well within the capabilities of a bass dashing out and attacking this thing. It's not as fast as we feel it is. Now, the other key that I have found to really locating fish, remember trying to find them, is this smaller square bill size. This one is the KVD 1.5, and I found that this is just a perfect balance between a small crankbait and then the ability to still cast it very effectively on bait cast equipment. So I really like this particular size. But there are other crankbaits out there that are even smaller. And you can go ahead and mess around and investigate with those as well. And then once we find some fish, once we locate fish, and believe me, this yesterday for me was working very, very well, then we've got the opportunity to change things up and slow down. So this pocket, for example, I caught several bass in here very quickly. Well, if I would have stayed longer, that would have been a really good opportunity to pull off a little bit, slow down, try something a little bit slower, and start to investigate this area thoroughly. There was a couple bass that revealed themselves that there's a group or a school down there, and I probably could have caught a whole bunch more by now working the area over carefully or maybe finding a little bit better quality fish by backing out deeper. Now, I'm not going to lie. If you've never done this, if you've never cranked a square bill so fast that your hand's flying off of the, the handle there, the paddle on the reel, it feels weird. It feels wrong. You're thinking, man, there's just no way this is going to work. You're going to have to trust me here on doing this. And when you start to get that first bite, there's first few fish doing this, your confidence level is going to skyrocket and you're going to know you've got a great tool to locate fish you're covering water as fast as you can and making them react to it and hey once you find a school of fish if you really want to then slow it down the opposite end of that speed spectrum go ahead and watch this video here that's about what i think is my new favorite replacement for the ned rig and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today you never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life i'm your host steve rogers